For the past few days, I have been looking at the Su-57 fighter jet from different perspectives. The Russians claim that it is a state-of-the-art fighter, while many disagree, questioning its skills capability. Regardless of what's true, one thing is certain, that this time Russians have produced something that can be arguably called fifth-generation fighter jet. However, the Su-57 lacks super cruise capabilities for now, which is problematic since it can't achieve supersonic speed without afterburner. When the afterburner is used, it exposes the aircraft IRST sensor, which could be disastrous and it could lead to passive detection. In such scenario, the Su-57 could get caught in a BVR situation without the enemy fighter jet even needing to turn on its radar. The limitations of Su-57 engine affect its ability to carry advanced munitions effectively over longer distances. A better engine would have improved the payload capacity, allowing the integration of more sophisticated weapon systems like hypersonic missiles or advanced electronic warfare systems. To resolve this issue, the Russians have developed the Ideal Age 30 or Saturn AL-51 engine, which is significant improvement over its predecessor, the AL-41 engine. The new engine offers considerably better specifications. It is a two-shaft low-bypass after-burning turbofan engine with a three-stage fan driven by a single-stage low-pressure turbine and a five-stage high-pressure compressor driven by a single-stage high-pressure turbine. Unlike its predecessor, AL-41, new engine features glass hyperplastic inlet guide vents and convergent-divergent nozzles that use serrated flap to reduce radar signature. Additionally, it has a 19% higher thrust to weight ratio, 6.4% better specific thrust and 9% lower specific fuel consumption. The estimated thrust is 107.9 kN dry and 166.8 kN in afterburner. The AL-51 F1 also includes full authority digital engine control, HADEC, to ensure reliability in various operating conditions. If Russia successfully developed the AL-51 engine, it could have significant implications for both military aviation and geopolitical dynamics. The AL-51 would offer higher thrust and efficiency compared to current AL-41 F1 engine used in the Su-57. This would improve the aircraft maneuverability, range and steel bringing it closer to western counterparts like the F-22 and F-35. A more advanced engine design would reduce the aircraft's heat signature, enhancing its steel capabilities and making it harder to detect by infrared tracking system. Improved fuel efficiency would extend the range of Su-57, allowing it to operate over longer distances and conduct more complex missions without refueling. The AL-51 could offer more advanced thrust vectoring capabilities, giving the Su-57 superior agility in dogfights and close air combat, thus improving its effectiveness against multi-role aircraft like the F-22 or Eurofighter Typhoon. A more advanced engine would likely be more durable, reducing maintenance intervals and allowing for higher operational availability, thus making the Su-57 a more cost-effective option for the Russian Air Force. The successful development of AL-51 engine would bring Russia's fifth-generation fighter aircraft on par with the US and China in terms of performance, making the Su-57 a more attractive option for both domestic use and export. This could strengthen Russia's position in global arms market, particularly among nations looking for alternatives to Western aircraft. With an advanced engine, Russia could increase its sales of Su-57 and potentially attract buyers from nations currently aligned with the US, especially those seeking cost-effective advanced fighters. This would directly challenge US dominance in the export market of fifth-generation aircraft. Countries that are reliant on Russian military technology may find the AL-51 engine a compelling reason to adopt the Su-57 fighter jet, solidifying alliance with Russia. Nations in regions like Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Africa could be more inclined to purchase Russian aircraft if they believe they are getting similar capability to those offered by US or Chinese fighters. The development of a competitive fifth generation engine would allow Russia to challenge the US and China not only in the air but also in a strategic, military, and diplomatic terms. It could disrupt the current air superiority that the US maintain and shift regional power balances 
in places like Eastern Europe, the Middle East and Asia. If the AR-51 engine allowed for longer range, improved steel and increased agility, Russia could alter its military doctrine to incorporate the Su-57 in more complex and far-reaching operations, such as long-range precision strikes, counter-air operations, and potentially even a shift in nuclear deterrence strategy. Successfully producing the AL-51 engine would significantly boost Russia's domestic industry. The ability to produce and maintain these engines indigenously would reduce dependence on foreign technologies and enhancing national security. The production and maintenance of AL-51 engine would also create jobs in Russian defense sector, leading to more advanced R&D, engineering, and manufacturing capabilities within the Russia. The development and successful export of the AL-51 engine could provide a substantial boost to Russia's economy by increasing revenues from military exports, which are a major part of Russia's economy. This could also support the development of related technology. The emergence of AL-51 engine could trigger a new arms race in fifth-generation fighter aircraft, particularly between US, Russia, and China. Nations may invest heavily in developing their own next-generation engine or upgrading their fleets with latest technology to, to keep pace with Russia's advancement. The development of AL-51 engine would drive technological innovations across the global defense sector. Competitors would likely respond with new innovation in engine design, steel technology, and multi-role aircraft capabilities further advancing the state of aerial combat.